I'm not sure I can answer all aspects of the question. Bearing in mind that I'm on recording, I will try to convey what, to my understanding, Dati, Hakal, Anius Daiti, not what is Das Toiro, because I would never take the leisure of saying that I have Das Toiro. And I don't think it's necessary to talk about general Hashkufa, general Das Toiro. Why don't we talk about what we as parents need to hear tonight in this room? Us only, in this room only, and tonight only. Why do we need to write a book and make it the history of what the Torah teaches Am Yisru? Why is it enough for us to have the Chizuk, to be encouraged, and to have the sense of doing the right thing with our children. So having I've been giving you the disclaimer it's a chiddush to me that the Yolam is so attentive after a long day of work and a little bit of a drain just from the Nisoyen that we're challenged with but if I heard it correctly there are 12 hour sessions so I'll take advantage of a 12 minute little slot to talk to Vorim Amukim. This will teach for Zachin. Because, of course, a question similar to the question asked deserves a Tifer answer. Chazal Akhtushim teaches that after Matan Toyra, Kodesh Bokhu said that he's compared to a Moshe. <coughs> that the Medrash <coughs> explains of a Melech, a king that had a Bas Yechid. He had a one and only daughter. He married her off to a young man. It was time for the couple to go on on their own. The king calls his son-in-law, no, son-in-law and says to him, she nosati the daughter that you married, she's a Bas Yechid. I can't see myself parting from her lifeless. Amen, I know you. Invited to tell you not to take her, I can't. Because you married her. Wherever you go with my daughter, Kitun Echod, Asayli, Sha'odun, Betoichich. Machmacha Zimmer, create a room. Zosain, one room. I want to live with you. Kachom Rakodesh Pochu, to Klal I gave you the Torah. I can't part. To say to you not to take the Torah, I can't do that either. I gave you the Torah. I gave it to you. Now, then I'm asking you, wherever you go, create a bias so that you and me can live together. So what's HaKadosh Baruch referring to? To the Torah? Hashem didn't lose the Torah. At Matan Torah, Hashem didn't give up on the Torah. He has the Torah, and we have the Torah. It's not Shaykh to the Mushul. In the Mushul, the king had a Bas Yechid. Either the daughter stays home or she goes with her new husband. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu didn't lose the Torah by giving us the Torah. What HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saying is that Am Yisrael, after Matan Torah, there was a relationship formed between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Am Yisrael. 
Hashem says, I can't anymore without that relationship. So wherever you go, create a room so that I can live amongst you. I need that place on Mikdush. I need to live together with you. I need to see you. I need to feel you. I need to hear you. But not stop in abstract. In a base of Mikdush, Kruvim, Hashros Hashchina, Korbunois. I need to live with you. Very close together. So when I learned this Medrash, I never understood. If Hashem says, I can't without it, so what happened at the Chum? Chum Beis Amikdash. All of a sudden, he couldn't without it. All of a sudden, Hashem's Lifresh, Mimeni Eini Yuchel, I can't part from Am Yisrael. All of a sudden, he could part from Am Yisrael. How's Shai Chum Beis Amikdash? This past year, Tisha B'Av, I learned the first time that the Abish the can't without the connection. And that connection is always there. No, I understand. In the Beis Amikdash, the connection is in the open. You walked into the Beis Amikdash, you saw the Kruvim facing each other, you saw the avoid of the Koyadim, you felt the Ashur Sashkina. It was obvious to every Yid that HaKadosh Baruch was connected to us. It was something we couldn't deny even if we wanted to. It was an obvious fact that there is love, there is a relationship, there is Ashur Sashkina in the Beis Amikdash. And that never ever ceased to be, it never stopped, it can't stop. You're mine and I'm yours. No, but then, the Beis Amikdash is merely a revelation. It's a Hisgalus of that love. It's to see it in the open. Beis Amikdash Shalomato Raboisan is Mechuven Kneged Beis Amikdash Shalomailu. The Beis Amikdash down below is only a mokim of his galus. It's a revelation. It's where you see it. But it is even when you don't see it. It exists even when it's not in the scope of your vision. Where does it exist? In Beis Amikdash Shalomayim. Hashem says, I'm always with you, Cloud Yisrael. When we had the Mishkon, we were able to see it. When we had the Beis Amikdash Rishon, we were able to see it, feel it, hear it, touch it. The love of Hashem to us. <laughs> when we had the Beis Amikdash Shani, we had it, we felt it, we heard it. Chodun Beis Amikdash is the Pshat. It's there. It's still there. Beis Amikdash Shalomayla, it's still there. We're still intimately connected with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with the love that no love could compare to. O hafti eschem no um Hashem. I love you, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ahavas oilom beis Yisrael amcho ohoftu. Ahava rabo aftonu Hashem elokeinu chem lo gedoy lo v'yisei lo komal to leim. Ovinu avorachmo no matter what. If you ever look in the Siddur, before Ahava rabo, is there a clause that says, if you're so and so, such and such, then Ahava rabo aftonu Hashem elokeinu. Did you see that in the Nusach somewhere? The place of all your travels that you get off in that city that says, if you're such and such, then I have a rabbi of Tonu Hashem Elokeinu. Does it say anywhere that before I have us oilom, there is a haktom, a oidum is kach, the kach, the mozab of the No way. Because in the base of Mikdash Shalom Ayla, Akodesh Prochu has that love to Am Yisrael that has no shaykhs to anything, that never was shaykh to anything. No, it's the entire evening. When we were deserving, when we were okay, HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed us that love in the open, in the Beis HaMikdash. Mishkon, Bayis, Rishon, Bayis, Shein. When we misbehaved, Tairi Eden, HaKadosh Baruch Hu took that love and concealed it. He hid it from us. He didn't allow us to see it. In the open, as when we had bias, Rishon, bias, Shani, hold your breath and don't get scared. Listen carefully. He didn't allow us to see it in the open. Favos. Favos. Because that's the initial, <coughs> initial, initial way of discipline. If your behavior is fine, the love is in the open. The expressions of love. The results of love, it's all in the open. If you're falling behind in your behavior, 
Chum Beis Amigdash. Did the love cease to exist? Did it stop? Did it stop? No. Hashem put it into hiding. He put it into the bias. Hamiktosh Shalomal. It's dear. It's dear. It's just that Hashem, at that point, wasn't so open with the love because we will return to HaKadosh Baruch Hu when we're disciplined. Hashem Yisporach knew that Am Yisrael will return to him with Torah, Mitzvah, Tshuva, with a regular system of discipline. So are we all Meshuggah for disciplining children the old-fashioned way? The Mechilas Reb Avi, no. No. No, it's not Meshuggah. If a regular child misbehaves, do you award the child with awards for his misbehavior? No. No. <coughs> Discipline is an altafat Education, discipline, scharva oinish. Hashem is put up so we're misbehaving. He took away that outward show of love. Did he still love us? Of course. Were we told by the Nevi'im that Hashem loves us? Yes, we were. Were we rewarded for our misbehaving? No, we weren't. Were we punished? Yes, we were. What happens on Tisha B'Of? Then all of a sudden we start crying. <coughs> Listen very carefully. It's an idol in the kudu. Why all, we, all year round do we play the music and we walk around as if it's all good and Tisha B'Of every year starts crying. Why do we cry on Tisha B'Of? The Gemara teaches us b'mistorim tifka nafshi. Because Tisha B'Of opens that curtain and he shows us what? He shows us how in love he is with us. He shows us that eternal love. He shows us twisted parenting. Antishabov. Antishabov HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, don't take the destruction of the Beis Amigdash. Don't take the fact that the outward expression of love doesn't exist as a sign that I don't love you anymore. I love you even more than I ever loved you, but I can't show it to you because I'm trying to give you a message. I'm trying to discipline. Every year, Tisha B'Av, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gets us to cry the way all of our children started crying after that first 12-hour session with Rebab. Why did the kids start crying? Because they say, wow, you still love me? You still love me? You really accept me? You can still connect to me after all I've done to you? And the emotions bring about those tears that free, that flow freely on Tisha B'Av. The Mistorim Tifke Nafshi. There's a place called Mistorim. Mistorim is when HaKadosh Baruch Hu lets us into the innermost chambers, to the deepest chambers. And Hashem says, look, look at my feelings for Ab Yisrael. But Hashem, we did everything wrong. Avoy the Zoro, Gilu Aro Yishvi Chastomim. You destroyed the Beis Amigdash. Zuk HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Agan Tzior. We're in Schar Voidish, all year round. I'll show you that destruction. I'll show you the... Comes Tisha B'Av Hashem, I'll show you the Emes. What is the Emes? Ahavti Yashem no Hashem. When is that Beis Amikdush? That's there throughout, through thick and thin, through fire and water, through love and aid. When is that inner expression of love that's unconditional? When will it be revealed to Am Yisrael? You ready to be said? Zog Chazal Aktoshim. The Bayis Ashlishi, the Biyas Ben David Ben Meheir, Ein Ben David Boel the Door Shev, Kuloi Zakai or Kuloi Chayes. Please listen carefully. There are two times, two times, two different stages in children, us being the children of Hakadosh Baruch. There are two different stages where Hashem says, "I can bring Mashiach Ben David and." what? The bias that's been up there all along, because we know the bias Ashlishi is a bias that's coming from up in Shomaya Mashkoya, down here. That's the Beis Amikdosh that never ever lost the Kesher between HaKadosh Baruch and Am Yisro. It's the hidden Beis Amikdosh. 
It's the eternal love. It's the unconditional love. It's the twisted love between Hakadosh Baruch Hu and Am Yisrael. Chok dechli v'sai azoy on sai azoy. Where would that be in this kalu? B'dor shekuloi zakai. What does kuloi zakai mean? Anybody wants to volunteer? What's meant kuloi zakai? If your son or daughter are such mitzuyonim, such such mitzuyonim, do you still need to discipline them? Do you still need to show them the love and hate, the schar v'oynish? I'm asking you a question. If they're mitzuyonim, graduated, married under the chupa, all stars, madaf? No. And here's what you all need to hear tonight. Oy bedor shekuloi chay. What does that mean? When the door is kuloi chay. When there's nothing more to gain from discipline, from punishments, from consequences, from schar, there's nothing to gain. It's kuloi chayiv. Then what will Hakadosh Baruch Hu do? What will Hakadosh Baruch Hu do? No. What will He do? He'll reveal to us the Beis Hamikdash that was always there. It was always there. Hashem never said what a parent says. I hated my son at that point, that Friday night. I hated him. Hashem says no. I made believe that I hate him. I allowed him to feel that I hate him, but why? Because I felt that by showing him an angry face, by teaching him the consequence of his behavior, what will happen? He will come back. But if it's cool, if there's no one to talk to, if there's no one home, if there's nothing to gain by continuing to teach the child by the laws of consequences, I can reveal the Ba'is Ashlishi. That Ba'is Ashlishi that conveys Lifroish mi meno eini yochel. I can't look from them kind nicht uptime. I can't part from this child. The love is too intense. But wait a second. Avoid the zor. Kila lo yishvich as dovim sin aschin um chobim beis amiktas. Was the terrors? I'm not going to show him the love if I still feel there's reason to believe that by not showing my love, the child will come back and behave. But when we reach a point of either kuloi zakai, daf mishanish mechanich zayin, or the kuloi chayiv, ot mishanish veim mechanich zayin, what happens then? Nothing new. There's no new mahalach. There's no innovation. And there's no new invention. It's on his galus. We're revealing the true feelings that we were always supposed to feel towards the children, the feelings of unconditional love are feelings that we have to feel towards the children always. No, but then, when there's something to gain, we don't allow them to see how unconditional our love is to them. Because were they to see it, what would they do? They would have done worse than they did. We wouldn't even be giving them a chance to grow up There is a system of schar voinish and shamayim, and then there's a system of ahavas oilu. When there is to gain, when it's Circumstances normal, normal circumstances. We don't do anything twisted. If he was a machanach, a healthy machanach, this came me vaita machanach. But when we reach a level, where that level is a level that doesn't anymore allow for chinuch and discipline, because there's no one to be machanach. And it's not working, and you all can testify to the fact that it wasn't working, and it probably stopped working way before you realized that it's not working. And Alavai would have realized it's not working a little earlier in the game. When it reaches that level of Dor Shakul Echayim, Ben Dovid Bo, and what will happen with Ben Dovid Bo? The day Mishnah Megalus, I know after he asked him no Hashem, Vamartem b'Mei Aftuni, Hashem, you love us. Why would you love us? Besides why? I wear Rashi Tzvil, Rabbi Nutan Tzvil, Shemul Sharab, Atel Vizital is. I I learned Torah Gans. I took Bamei Aftuni. What kind of shine? The Torah says the pasuk is referring to to that Yid that says to Hashem Bamei Aftuni. You walk home one day after a twelve hour say I love you, and your kid turns around and says Be'emes, what about me do you still love? Haloi Och Esav Liyakov says the pasuk. I look just like Esav. Haloi Och Esav Liyakov. Och Esav Liyakov. So what if the brothers? But Yaakov is the Hakadosh Elyon. It's the new Yaakovs, the Yaakovs of 2015, that are going to say, What does Hakadosh Baruch Hu say? What kind of love is that? 
That's the law of the Beis Amikdash that was never destroyed. The law of the Bay is Shlishi that steers throughout. So the mental so sign the Zutus and Yiddish and Nachas from Alekin with such a Yisrael. I don't know if I have the perfect answer to your question. I think I may have answered it. If I didn't, you're welcome to ask again. <laughs> to what level are we there to enable, to assist, I plead the fifth. There needs to be a Havas Oilom, a Hava Rabo, and it's only possible to have a Hava Rabo that's a Havas Oilom if it's unconditional. Because Oilom by definition is eternal. If it's conditional, it's not eternal. It has to be a Hava Rabo and a Havas Oilom. No, it was then. When we're dealing with the children that we're dealing with, what are we meant to do? Continue disciplining whom exactly? Continue educating what? And get weird with it. At that point, the Kodesh Baruch Hu says, there's no Siba for Chodim Beis Abikrash. It's the tears of Tishabov, the tears of love, the tears of emotions that come as a result of the feeling that a child feels that unconditional love of a parent to the child. Medaf libo vindikinder. And they need to feel that they're loved. They need to know that they're loved beyond any doubt. A millionth of a doubt is too much for a child that's not well. It's too much. They need to know that they're loved. They need to know that they're accepted. If you'll accept upon yourselves, Yerav Luchem Mikanu Labos Vedzisven. Why? Shekol Aschol is koshis. And what's the Aschol? To accept. Te kablu aleichem. So they take it upon yourself. It's with this word. Because all the Aschol is are koshis. How do you get past the Aschol? By acceptance. And that's the Aschol that most parents never get past if they don't join a group like this. The te kablu aleichem. Medav me kablu zayn. It is what it is. Yes, it's mine. Carries my last name and looks just like me. This is mine. He accepts us. He accepts us. And he gives us our breath. Right? The minute we're choyta, Hashem should have pulled the plug. What does he bring us to this world to go against him? Hashem feeds us, nourishes us, nurtures us, gives us our breath. Even though he knows he's going to do battle. Gives us Ramach Averim, 248 organs that function perfectly off the derech. Did you hear? 365 Gidim that pump even more beautiful. Red, healthy, a late tattoo. Hashem could pull the plug. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. Moida Anil One of these lachtigi kids said to me, he went to the ocean to jump. Before he jumped, he decided he's going to watch Nagel Vas in the Vasa when he's going to say Moidani that morning. And it hit him when he said Moidani lefonecho melechai vikayot. Makes sense. Shechazarto bi nishmosi bechem. Also makes sense. Rabo emunosi. My emunah is strong in you. As I said, But as I followed not this kind of as he says, Rabo emunosecho. Your belief is strong. And he stopped right here at the ocean. And he said to himself, what does this mean? Hashem has a muna in whom? And it hit him. He said, if Hashem didn't pull the plug on me after all the bad I did, he must believe in me. And he came right to the shul. I met him a few minutes after this. If Hashem is allowing me to pump, to move, to see, to hear, he must believe I can still make it back. And he made it back. He's still struggling, but he made it back. He didn't jump. 